Tesla got hacked. As a leader in space, transportation, energy, and basically all the future, it's kind of disconcerting to hear that Tesla had the Amazon Web Services account hacked in a crypto jacking scheme. That is, a crime where hackers break into systems in order to stealth mine cryptocurrency. Who's responsible? We don't know. But what we do know is that as crypto jacking has become more and more popular among cyber criminals, bigger and badder companies are going to be targeted for their massive computer power they possess. So let's break down what actually happened with Tesla. The company as a whole is still safe. However, their AWS account was breached, compromising mapping, data collection, and vehicle servicing information. That being said, this only affected their test vehicles, not any current cars on the road. Our heroes in this story are Redlock, a small cybersecurity startup that discovered the breach because of an IT admin console that didn't have a password. They were awarded exactly $3,133.70, which references someone who is leet, also known as elite in what they do, which is pretty fantastic. Redlock identified the hack thanks to a smart move by Tesla, which has a bug bounty program. Now these programs pay and support white hat hackers to find vulnerabilities and share them with the company in the hopes that they can fix the problem before malicious hackers can take advantage of them. While in this case, it was a nice save, it raises major concerns about future autonomous cars when it comes to digital exploitation. We might not get to that future as quickly as we'd like if consumers are constantly in danger of a data breach, especially because this kind of data breach can compromise the safety of consumer vehicles. Plus, I can't imagine any major car manufacturer would be happy if their proprietary code for their first marketable autonomous car was stolen by a major competitor. It makes sense that this would be the weapon of choice for the ever-growing army of cyber criminals. As the crypto economy itself grows, crypto mining bots are a great under-the-radar stealth tactic that can seem relatively victimless. After all, you're just stealing a few CPU cycles from a few companies who barely notice. And the value of what you're stealing isn't just a dollar, but a currency that you may expect to triple in value in the next year. Of course, with the rise of a new type of criminal, we can expect to see the rise of a new type of enforcement. The US is just one of a number of nations to take its first major steps into crypto oversight. The CFTC, Commodity Futures Trading Commission, just had their first hearing. It was cautiously optimistic. They determined that they can now gather trading data to analyze for fraud and manipulation. Ultimately, that means as more of these public hearings take place, we can probably bet that higher security measures on crypto or digital fraud will mature along with the rest of the market. For Futurism, I'm Jolene.